All right, let's do it. Um, really, let me use a cylinder to make, and let's say I'm gonna put just two of them. All right. So right here, for example, you right-click. That's what you did. The faces, and I'll use that tool to select them. Make it bigger. And by the way, you're using 2014. That's why it's different. You're supposed to use 15 or 16. Um, that's what the deal is. All right. So now you check. I got way too many. Let me do it another way quickly. All right. Let me just select. You see, first of all, you would not select everything. You would select stuff that are not too overlapping. So that would be it for me in that uh, axis. So let's say you have that selected. You are in the Z axis. You are correct. So you go to the UV and uh, basically you go to your planner options right there and you select Z and you click apply. All right. Now if you go into the UV editor, this is the mesh. This is the UVs. All right, let me move that on the side. This is your UVs right there. You can't you know, let me put something on it. If you right click on them and you say UVs, you can select one of them like that and you go to select, select shell and that will select exactly what you just unwrapped right here. Right here is the rest that hasn't been unwrapped for that mesh. So let me move it on the side. Let's say we did it. All right. So this is your unwrap right here. All right, what's important in Maya is to put it in 0 to 1. But first, let me put a texture on it so we can understand quickly what's going on. And I'll put a checker right here. Okay, so that's your texture. And let me right click, go to UVs. See, those are the UVs. And now they can, you can use the control transform tool to change how they are and regain the proper size. All right. So that might be like that square until they're square and then scale it down all at once. And you might, you know, it's pretty small of a piece. So until you get square like that. That's pretty much it. And then you put it in one part of your texture, 0 to 1, so right here. And then you do all the parts like that. that. That's just pretty much it. Then after, when you're done, you can export by making a snapshot of a certain size. Reopen that in Photoshop, and you'll have the UV map there. You can just paint it, and you're done. And reapply it after that. I hope that's, that's helped. Have a good one.